Okay, so we're back on trail. Um, Retune is hiking up ahead of the click right now, but I don't want to get too far into the next leg of our adventure, adventure without checking in with you guys. We ended up catching a ride with um, the wife of our server from the Mexican restaurant last night. Uh, they rode us up to trail, which was really nice. And now we are en route to Medellin Falls. So we have a big 100 mile carry, so my pack is extra heavy, and a big climb. I've got, uh, I'm about to gain 6,000 feet of elevation. Uh, fortunately, it's spread out over nine miles, so it's not too intense, but with a full pack, I'm feeling it. But I'm super excited to be back in the woods and uh, making more progress on this trail. climb out of Bonner's Ferry was about as consistent as I expected it to be looking at the elevation profile. It's finally about seven and a half miles in. Flattened out a little bit. We still have some climbing to do. It's not over but the harder switchbacks are um, at least behind us. I've been walking through a burn for a while. Um, Last year, a bunch of the trees fell on the switchbacks. They've all been cut and cleared. The trail's actually in really great shape. I think we have maybe five more miles. All the camps are dry. We either have to go down to some lakes off of the trail or get all the way over the mountain. I don't know if I have enough time to do that today. So hopefully we uh, continue moving at a, a better pace now that the terrain's leveled out a little bit. friends uh, today is Saturday July 18th and we are currently uh, hiking Parker Ridge yesterday we left Bonner's Ferry and the day didn't end up going quite as planned I think with our heavy packs and the heat not having um, adequate sleep from the night before we didn't make it very far um, and, and more than that uh, as we were hiking, we kept hearing these claps of thunder, and it got darker and darker. And I let fear get the better of me, and I insisted on stopping at 5 o'clock. 
and I really regret that because as it turns out it like sprinkled and then all the claws cleared up and it was a beautiful evening and night. We at least got to bed early and that led to us getting up early and uh, yeah now we're having this like wonderful ridge rock right now and what we have ahead of us is um, the infamous lion's head bushwhack. have it ladies and gentlemen what it's like to through hike desperate for water and doing your best to collect snow melt retune showing us how to do it hey hey we're uh we're at a lake we're at lower ball lake yeah the lower balls <laughs> it's beautiful it is all the lakes we've passed today are beautiful uh, we're about to start the bushwhack. Lion Creek bushwhack. Yeah. Five miles of who knows what. Yeah. Hopefully we're going to do a check-in while we're in the bushwhack. Um, I think that really just depends on what we're working with and our mental states. Um, but I, I'm hopeful to show kind of what that looks like. This is kind of our first like actual bushwhack. We'll see yeah. how it goes. Yeah. There's rumors that there's an old trail that follows the creek that sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. Uh, you can mistake game trails for it. And who knows what's fallen down or hasn't fallen down. In We're going to be walking along a creek bed, so it could be really wet. Probably is really wet. Yeah, we're probably getting wet. Yeah. It's going to be fun. PNT life, baby. Here we are in the bushwhack. Uh -huh. What do you what do you think, Petra? I mean, I think that uh, everyone bitching about Pennsylvania on the Appalachian Trail because you don't get an even step has no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, we followed a stream part of the way down, and uh, now we're just. Trying to get down to the the creek. The stream was getting too wet and slippery, too dangerous. And the rocks were getting bigger in it, so we had to leave the stream. So now we're just trying to get down to the the creek that is fed by that stream. Yeah. To be clear, there's no trail. No trail we at are all. Literally lost in the woods right now. No trail. With no with the, just a general sense of direction of where we need to head. Yeah. Just a be clear yeah. that's happening i think i can hear the the creek so i and I, the bugs have picked up so. yeah it's gonna be fun Woo. just in case retune and i don't end up doing a video in the tent and there's a good chance we won't because i think he's in an even worse mood than i am but we spent seven hours bushwhacking and we're not out of the bushwhack um 
I was told, or I read, it's five miles, it's five miles. Um, and I guess nothing really tells you how long it's going to take. But I figured like a mile an hour. And we started around one o'clock. It's freaking 8.30 right now. We set our tent up in like the closest to a flat site we could find. It's the closest thing to flat ground I've seen in hours. Um, I'm sleeping on top of a root and I'm so exhausted. I don't care. My legs are cut up. Um, Retune doesn't know it yet, but he split his pants. Um, we both have fallen a gajillion times. It's so frustrating. Uh, I think some people like this, but we don't. Um, and it sucks because now it's extended by having to sleep out here and try and get the frick out tomorrow. But I think we're like within a mile, a mile and a half from seeing actual trail again. Um, anyway, it's really frickin' buggy, but I just wanted to give an update just in case we don't say something later. It sucks. It's the 19th of July. We're still in the bushwhack. Yeah. We started the bushwhack at 1 p.m. yesterday. Yeah. Five miles of bushwhack. Yeah, five miles of bushwhack. We're still here. Yeah. Um, we camped because it was getting dark like almost eight o'clock and we found a kind of flat spot i'm sleeping on a, i slept on a root me too i think we <laughs> share the root we it share goes the across root. our tent um, and there's a rock by my head and i think another root by my foot we just got to the point where the progress was so slow that if we continued moving it would have been dark by the time we got to trail which would have made finding the actual trail pretty much impossible um so we took advantage of a spot to set up our tent to hit the trail at 6 a.m we hiked for so we were at 14 hours of trail time and we were both getting frustrated with ourselves and each other and yeah i'm pretty sure the last half hour i just cried and was praying to god that this would all be over soon and that's not an exaggeration um and that was probably partly because I was so hungry and tired, but yeah, real story. So we have about a mile and a half of the bushwhack. We're really close to the Y in the creek. We end up at a Kent Creek, but I don't know. I think we still follow Lions Creek, but it just stays on our left. Yeah, so we have about a mile and a half, and then the, we hit Trail 42. Can't Kent, wait to just hit Kent the Creek trail. trail or something. I'm pretty beat up, so there's an option to do a five mile road walk um, instead of climbing up to Lookout Mountain. And I think after how yesterday went and how the first couple hours of today are gonna go, I will be happy to walk on a road, uh, which will take us to Priest Lake, which will hopefully um, go swimming. We'll in. go swimming. And, yeah, uh, have a I'm covered with day. dirt and scrapes and bruises, and I wouldn't mind rinsing off and having a good time because yesterday wasn't second half. Of yesterday wasn't fun. We had said that there were no flat spaces to camp along the the Lions Creek bushwhack. That's kind of inaccurate. There were a couple meadows that we walked through. They are so swampy this time of year, so I don't know if they dry out. But possibly if you're hiking eastbound, you might have better luck finding um, a dry spot to, to pitch a tent through this bushwhack. Okay. Um, okay, so we realized that 25 miles ago we hit the 200 mile mark. And um, just haven't taken the time to make it. Yeah, <laughs> and since the bushwhack was has been awful, we decided to just, we needed to stop and celebrate something because... We need it. We need it. So... <laughs> so Ta-da! We've hiked 200, 200 miles. miles. That means we have like a thousand more to go. Yeah. Cool. Just a thousand more. A thousand more miles of fun. Sometimes the only trail is a fallen tree.
Hey Petra. Hey. What, what's that next to you? A fire pit. I, I think we've made it. I think we're out of the bushwhack. It is really great. <laughs> like, you, you have no idea. We're still in the woods, but we're out of the bushwhack, I think. I like the woods, not so much the bushwhack. We have a little bit of uh, bushwhacking to actually find the trail, which I think is an old forest road. We'll, uh, we'll see. See what that looks like. The creek's right over there, and they said it's pretty close to the creek, so. Yeah! All right, party on. the water slide we water slid it a couple of times couple actually times. it was so much fun and then the the crowds of people started showing up that was our cue to leave i think trail miles we're at like two <laughs> it's like 12. so i don't think we're gonna get very far today but yeah damn it's much better day than uh yesterday afternoon's bushwhack we got trail again the bushwhack was a bit confusing at the end well, it was confusing the whole time, but the end, we came to like a fire pit and like came down to the creek. And then as we were coming up from the creek, we randomly would see like pink tape tied to trees, which we kind of used and followed what appeared to be a game trail or like an old abandoned um, hiking trail. And occasionally, very occasionally, some orange blazes on trees. Yeah, there were some faded orange blazes um, on the trees, but the pink were more consistent. So um, if you get to the, the point where they say the bushwhack ends, um, it's not really over, um, but there is a trail. It's just not well maintained and a little hard to follow due to fallen trees. We got a really well-worn trail now and it's gonna end up a forest service road in a little bit, so uh, should be making good progress.
Our tent. Routine and second thoughts. And our fire. Good morning. It's uh, Monday, July 20th, and we just camped last night at Upper Priest Lake. Uh, we have our own private beach. Uh, we sure do. Yeah, and a picnic table, and a fire pit, and, and a bear, bear box. box, and yeah. I think a little further up trail we might even find a privy. Like, we are so spoiled right now, um, and it's super cool after what we went through the other night. <laughs> uh, the trail up here was fantastic. Really flat, well groomed, um, just beautiful trail. And yeah, it's probably some of the best maintained trail uh, I've we, ever seen. We caught up with uh, Gasket, and uh, just as he was leaving this swimming area, uh, I guess he and um, Backtrack and um, Second not, or Not, not a, chance. a Chance spent the, uh, a long time swimming, and so we ended up catching up with them. Uh, I guess they had the same idea as us after that bushwhacked. Um, they didn't get the water slide, but they, you know, this was their first opportunity to have Take some fun day. after yeah. uh, <laughs> after the, the nasty bushwhack. Uh, today we're, we have an option of going the primary route, which is apparently... Not recommended. Yeah, it's not recommended due to a really bad bushwhack that has a lot of, like, thistle and... Adler's. Anyway, we're going to take the recommended alternate. Um, in fact, it seems like that's really the only way to go, according to other PNT hikers. And it um, is soon to become the primary route. More exciting news. We're going to go into Washington today. Yeah. Third state. Yes. And final state where we spend the remaining three quarters of the PNT. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is like not really a sign of progress, but um, it feels kind of like it crossing another state line so that's pretty exciting <laughs> Trail update. We have done about eight and a half miles in three hours. Um, it's been a pretty fantastic day. Unfortunately, there's a lot of road walking. Road walking is road walking, but it's not a bushwhack, so I'm learning to appreciate the road walk after uh, a pretty rough day of bushwhacking. Uh, we chose the alternate route after Priest Lake because it's rumored to become the primary route because the primary route 
currently takes you on two unmaintained trails and a forest road that hasn't been maintained for a couple decades that is basically a bushwhack and we said we had enough bushwhacking on this stretch of trail so we're gonna treat ourselves with some road walking uh, we've got second thoughts with us today he's uh, enjoying our company we're enjoying his company after uh, not seeing people during the bushwhack it's really appreciated some company and some other human interaction so um, yeah we got a couple more miles of road walk before we hit trail again but things are going well We're in Washington. We made it. We made it to Washington. It's our last state. And we're here for a long time. <laughs> yep, about eight or nine hundred miles more. Nine hundred miles more. No big deal. Yeah. Third state. We did it. We're on our way to the Pacific Ocean. Tuesday, July 21st, and we're camping on a mountain. Yeah, it's not really an official campsite, but it was what they said was the last campsite we'd see for a while, so we made it work. Yeah, plus I think we traveled like 18 or 19 miles to get here, so yeah. we were pretty tired. <laughs> um, anyway, yesterday... Um, the first part of the day, probably for the first 12 or so miles, was excellent. It was pretty easy, and we covered a lot of uh, ground in a short amount of time uh, before uh, climbing up what seemed like an endless climb um, on a very overgrown trail. Yeah, it was low down. Trail 311. Yeah. Things um, got dicey. Yeah, we crossed into Washington, and... Uh, Basically, like, ever since we got into Washington, it's basically been, like, the trails, like, screw you. <laughs> Until this last little stretch, once we got up, um... Over this last mountain. Yeah, the the trail was really nice, climbing, um, just, like, over the saddle and down into this camp area. So, Second Thoughts is still with us. We had a nice fire again last night. It's really nice to have company and, um, a fire and, I don't know, just, um enjoy more of what the PNT has to offer. Uh, looks like we have um, a nice, easy-ish day ahead of us, and our goal is to head down to Sullivan Lake and uh, set up camp in that area before hiking into town the following day, um, hoping that we're going to be uh, at camp early enough to do some gym.
checking in from the trail. It was supposed to be a pretty easy day today, at least according to the elevation profile. But one thing that elevation profiles don't tell you is the trail conditions up ahead. And we have had blow down after blow down all day. And uh, it is a bit slow going and generally pretty tiring, especially when you've been in the woods for five or six days already. We are all daydreaming about getting to town, eating some town food, showering and getting in bed. And it feels like it's so far away, even though we're probably only like 20 miles away from town at this point. But I'll show you the uh, boys trying to make their way around some of these blowdowns here. Watch. Trail's over there. They're up there. Not sure how well the camera shows this, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven blowdowns right in front of me. Behind me. And uh, this just seems to continue on so far um, in my short time here in Washington between yesterday and today. I would say uh, whoever's responsible for these trails should be ashamed. This is atrocious. Um, these would be great trails if somebody would just come out and clean them up a little. Oh, I found the trail! Yeah! <laughs> just briefly. Found the trail! <laughs> Push back in! Yeah. This wasn't on good. You don't, right? You don't want erosion, then somebody's got to come and clean this up. Morning. Green Tune lost the connector to my tripod. Oops. We have to hike down to Sullivan Lake and then uh, we hit the road. That brings us into Medellin Falls. And we're hoping we're going to catch a hitch once we hit the road. So Seven miles to the road, five miles from there to town. So. Yeah. Um, I'm very tired and hungry. It's early. But yeah, it's like 5.30 right now. <laughs> We're really excited to get to town.
All right, so we're here in Medellin Falls um, looking for Trail Angel Mary's where some of the other hikers have been camped out. We got a lovely uh, car ride this morning from a guy named Thomas. Yeah, Thomas was a cool guy. Thomas was extra generous and actually gave us $50 to enjoy breakfast at the cafe, which we then promptly spent more than that at the cafe. <laughs> so, um, we're off to a great start. We're just happy to be here in town. <laughs> 